Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. This is my delightful Daisy, Daisy Delight fold flat box. And when I open it up, you'll see that the bottom half folds flat. The top half does, but then you stick it at the point of closure. So you make it, and I'll show you, I will stop at the point, but you can make a whole bundle of these in advance and you can have them sat flat packed, ready to put goodies and treats and things and stuff all sorts of bits in it so you could make a batch of these if you were maybe making if you make uh, soaps or chocolate or candles or things like that or maybe you've got a party coming up or you've got a wedding and you're making favours um, and I'm just I love it and I love Daisy Daisy's so gorgeous she's big she is big I will t I, I'm not going to deny that but she is amazingly versatile and I adore her and I used to do an awful lot of wire work with a smaller version of this many many years ago um, but I like the big size so I've got the matching paper to go with Daisy and this time I'm going to work with a different one which is less of the Daisy image bit more of the the swirly whirly um, it kind of reminds me of um, a Van Gogh and I can't remember which one but anyway, so this was Clipso Coral with, um, I went with So Saffron on the yellow. I'm not convinced that Daffodil Delight works best. I think So Saffron, so I'm going to do that again. But I'm working with Tranquil Tide this time. So my piece of cardstock measures 8 by 11 inches, which is 20 by 28 centimetres. And you score it at one and a half, four and three quarters, six and a quarter, and nine and a half inches, which in metric is four, 12, 16, and 24. Turn it round and score it at one and a half and at six and a half inches, which is four and 16 centimeters. Finish size of the box, five by three and a quarter by one and a half inches, which in metric is 12 by eight by four centimeters. So really good size. So burnish these score lines. We're going to come and put some more in in a second. We're going to put some diagonal lines in. It's best to get these ones in first. I really hope my long ruler is handy. It is. I've been doing lots of measuring in the house recently. Um, so we've been here a couple of months now. Um, I'm trying to think what day time. Yeah, two months at the time I'm filming. Smidge over two months at the time you're watching it. So we've had to get an awful lot of stuff. We've had to replace things. So my ruler keeps wandering all over around the house. Okay, so we have got six squares that are exactly the same size all the way around. I'm going to score a line from there to there facing into the middle on one half. So four of them are going to face into the middle and the other one is going to face into the middle as well. So I'm going to use the short end of my stylus. I love this style of box. I've made it in dozens of different shapes and um, not shapes because <laughs> the shapes are the same sizes and measurements and they are just brilliant and you really can make a box to fit pretty much anything when you're doing a fold flat. Um, great for children's birthday parties particularly if you're the um, sandwiches ice cream and jelly kind of um, party children's party maker -er. That's a word. It is a word. Um, and they're really good because you're making all the, you know, the sandwiches and the jams and jellies and ice cream and stuff on the day of the party. So you've got no time to do the bags and the boxes. You can make them well in advance. OK, so hopefully if I tilt that, you can see I've got these ones facing the middle. That's going to become the bottom and that's going to be the top. So the place, because we're going to do one cut mark, is away from the bottom. Let me get those score lines moving so you can see them. Beautiful sunny day. Hopeless for filming. So those ones face into the middle, so you need to put your score line there. And we're essentially detaching the top from the bottom by doing this. So if I fold that one round as well, and that one, and you'll see what's going to happen. Those will form in, and then that one will do exactly the same at the top and come round to be the lid. So I want to get my designer series paper on, and as I said, I've got another one of the patterns in the paper. I love that one, and I've got a gorgeous bag that I've got coming up in a couple of weeks using that pattern. But I'm going with this one today, I just thought that was really good fun. So this measures four and three quarters by three inches, which is 11 and a half by seven and a half centimetres. 
want to sit on the top like that so where to now put the adhesive okay so this is the bottom of the box and that's going to fold over so you need some glue in there's a triangle shape and it's the one that faces into the middle on either side so that's where you put your glue either side top and bottom on the box base part and then very simply you go like that push it flat bring in a bone folder to make sure it's well and truly stuck and that's the base of the box built just like that okay the lid we're going to do exactly the same so the triangle that's closest to the middle fold them both over and that is at the point I mean you could stick your embellishment on but that's the point that you stop um, to make a bunch of these to fold flat for storage however when you then build it so let's just manipulate that a little bit and you build it that will gape there which is not pretty we don't like gapage is gapage a word I don't know that that's a word I think I made that one up <laughs> so at the point that you're building it to gift it fill your square at the top with your adhesive and bend it up like that bone folder in there to press it down and in there and that is your lid made so that when you now close the box no gapage we don't like gapage that's such a cool word right okay let's get some stamping and what's going on I, think I need a bit of a slightly bigger piece of whisper white so i've got daisy delight with the daisy so i'm going to get that on a block And you need to make sure that you have one of the petals facing down because that's how the punch is the petal faces down so I like I said I've got so saffron school my, my the jury is out on daffodil delight so I have two of that I just feel daffodils like it's just a shade too bright. That just feels a bit paler than that. Um, and then I've got a scrap here of Whisper White, and that measures three quarters by three inches. What's that in metric? That is two, two by seven and a half centimeters. And this is a photopolymer stamp set, so you can see what you're doing. And I'm going to go for your thoughtfulness made my day the middle let's grab a big block so I can see and I've got tranquil tide to offset it I'm going to take it off to the right hand side because I'm going to hide the tail underneath Daisy so curl up the petals a little bit And I've found with trial and error that curling her petals down gets the better, slightly more realistic effect. And then I also have found that if you go for a mini glue dot under one, you can get it positioned pretty accurately. Like that. Whoops. Drop a moment pad. It's going to have a faceted gem. These are gorgeous and they've got texture to them. They're a bit knobbly and that's a really nice feel. I don't, I wonder if I can, that's my nails scraping across it. So you can hear the facets rather than see them. That makes sense to me. Um, dimensional on the back of this, a couple of them. I'm going to put that there and then I can come along and position Daisy over the top so I'm going to have a couple 
Actually, you know what? I'm going to put dimensionals. Because I want the elevation, so I'm going to have a dimensional in the middle. And that's on there. And that, like I say, you could just put some little, you could put some tea bags and sugars and a couple of Ferrero Rocher chocolates in there. And that would be a lovely gift because it says your thoughtfulness by my day. So it's a gift to say thank you for being you. It doesn't have to be a birthday gift with that phrase. But I love it. Love the paper. Love the stamp sets. Loving this colour. I'm getting used to Calypso Coral now. It's only taken me four years, but I'm kind of getting there. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me and I hope to speak to you soon.